Okay, so here I am in Word 2013, but what I'm going to show you works for all of the versions of them. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you how you can do this on older versions of Word and also on the Mac as well. So just a quick thing to do there as well. So let me just take you back to the home ribbon here. So here I am. I've got a Word document and I want to put some links to some websites in it and possibly to an email address. And in any of the versions of Word, you can just simply type in the website and by and large, pressing enter or pressing space, it will actually then create the link for you. So this is not my email address, but I'm just putting in an email address, something that looks like one. And that way you'll see again when I press enter to move to the next line, or if I would have pressed space, it would have done the same thing. So if I would have done the bbc.co.uk, well, a bit of a spelling mistake there. But anyway, it does that for you. Now, sometimes you don't want the link. You just, you're typing in and it can be a bit of a nuisance. So what you can do, and this applies to all of the versions of Word, you just simply right click on it and you'll see it says remove hyperlink. Now in some versions, you have to go into edit hyperlink here and there'll be a remove link button either down here in this corner or over here. So that's how that works. And if I hit remove link, it's gone. So that's really handy. Now the other thing that you can do is you can change this here. So perhaps I don't want that to say uh, www.jargonfreehelp.com and I want to say click here for the Jargon Free Help website. So again, right click and choose edit hyperlink. Now I could use the right click and that works on all of them. But if you go into insert here, you'll see it's got hyperlink. And if I click on that, it takes me to the same dialog box. So the text I wanted to display is up at the top here. OK, so that's what appears in the document. Down here is where you actually have the website address if you actually need to amend it. So you might want to go to a particular page. So I could put here, click here for jargon free help. When I click on OK, you'll see it's changed it here. Oops, spelling mistake. Right click, edit hyperlink and just change it and press OK. So this is really useful. So you could do the same here for email addresses. And if I right click, choose edit hyperlink, you'll see the difference is, is that with the mail address, it's got mail to colon here and then the address here. As I said, this is not my real address. So don't start emailing it because you'll just be getting bounce backs if you do it. Again, you can hit remove link. Some versions you can right click and right there it says remove hyperlink. Obviously, you can do things like copy the hyperlink to take it somewhere else, paste it somewhere else, or open hyperlink will actually take you to that website. So there is something else that's really useful with these links. So aside from actually being able to link to websites and also to email addresses, you can also link to files. So I could actually put here, click here to link to Excel file. I can highlight here, right click, choose hyperlink and rather than actually putting in an address down here which you could do like www.jargonfreehelp.com I can actually choose a file so I'm going to choose this Excel file north south I could also link it to a PowerPoint file and in theory I should also be able to link it so that it actually goes to a particular slide I can also make it go to another Word document and also tell it to go to a particular bookmark there. And with Excel, you should also be able to tell it to go to a particular sheet and a particular cell within that sheet as well, within that file. Now, the thing that you do need to know is if you're going to give these files to anyone else, you also need to make sure that they have access to them so that these files are either online or on the same shared folder somewhere. So what I should be able to do, and some people have a problem with this, as I do, if I click on bookmark here, it should come up with the option to then select the sheet and also the cell within here. And you can see I'm getting this error message. If you don't, then you could select the sheet, type in the cell reference, and you're done. But that's not going to do it here, but I can still get it to work. Because what I can do is put in the hash key, then the sheet that I want it to go to, which is going to be sheet one, and then an exclamation mark. And then I can put in, I'm going to put in B10 just randomly a particular cell that I want it to go to. Click on OK. I can now 
either hold down control and click which will now open Excel and open up that file and you'll see it's gone to B10 over here. So just going back to Word, so basically if I right click and you can actually see the hyperlink here now has this hash, the sheet name, the exclamation mark and then the cell reference. It would have been great if I could have just clicked on bookmark here but unfortunately that doesn't work. So what about doing it on something that's a bit older than these versions or on the Mac? So if you're using a Mac or an older version of Word on Windows, then same thing, if you type in a link or if you were to actually type in something like a, an email address, then same thing happens in that it automatically creates a link for you. So the differences really are not very much in that you can actually right click on the link again, go to hyperlink and there you've got edit hyperlink so you can go into that some might actually have remove hyperlink there as well so you can just easily get rid of it here in the dialog box is remove link you can now change the link to you could change that say click here for jargon free help and then you can do okay same things again if you want to actually make it go to a document such as word excel or something like that. So if I click on OK, you can see it's changed that link. It would still take me to jargon free help. So that is how you can put hyperlinks into your Word documents so they can go to websites, email addresses, or even to another file.